Okay, now I took the uh, castle fan off right here, as you can see, and that's where you have to grind this down in here, get it nice and smooth. Okay, so what I'm going to do. First things first, it's way too long of a cord for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Let me do this. Okay. Now here's all these wires here that I bought. A lot of these are going to be sacrificed. See how that plugs right in there? Plugs right in. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to make two of these come out of that receiver box. So this can plug into that. And then also with these racing fans. I want to do the same thing, but these are going to be tied together in parallel. So, so I, all I have to do is just one plug it, save a channel that way. First things first, I think this is way too long. I'm going to go to the truck here real quick and see how long I need to make it. Okay, wow, that's a lot to cut off of there. I mean, that's a good foot and a half. I'm going to go ahead and cut this right about here. All right. Oh, no. All right. So now we're going to peel back. I'm going to see what kind of wiring job that they did. Because they put these fans in parallel. Alright, I should just take that tubing off. Oh, I see what they did. This, this ran two hots. Let's see what they did here. Oh no, they ran four. Alright, that's cool. I'm going to go ahead and strip this back. Like that. I don't know if you can see or not here. I got... We have two red and two black, of course. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, and put this plug that I cut off back onto this. So we move over to the side a little bit. And we're going to go ahead and cut this again. see what they did here. Okay, they just put them all down in there, which is fine. I see. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put all that back together again. And the best thing to do here is cut them evenly. Just like that, so you can have a nice clean start. I'm going to go ahead and strip that 
Strip these back a little bit. A lot of people use their teeth on this. They're small enough wires you probably could, but not me. It doesn't matter how far you strip back. Just enough to get... I'm going to solder it. There. That's what she looks like. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the fan side. I'm going to snip a little bit more off here. And there you go. You got four wires right here. This one's pretty pretty easy. But before we even start, I'm gonna get some uh, heat shrink tubes. Move some tools off of it. Now we're going to choose some heat shrink here. Um, probably going to do some red. Oh, wait a I wonder if this will fit. Yeah, we got some red here. We get two red. It doesn't matter the colors, two blacks. That's oh, going to be too small. So what we're going to do is we're going to go one size up. Tell you what, we're going to save on the red. We're going to get yellow and black. And again, it does not matter what you have for color. As long as you have your wires color-coded the way you can remember them. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and, oh, first things first, I almost forgot. You got to put the heat tubes, and the shrink tubes down over it. Just like that. We'll go black to black. Yeah, you gotta make sure you have those on because uh, that's what you're gonna heat up and cover the solder connections. And we're gonna use yellow. And then uh, we're gonna go ahead and probably get one big one. We'll put that on the other side to cover the whole thing anyways. And again you can use electrical tape if you want. But this looks a little nicer when it's done. There. There we go. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and set that there for a minute. And we're going to get one big one, and that will have to be black. We'll get one 
one of these we'll put on the fan side to cover it all. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We'll put it right on there like that. Uh, if you can see it. Okay. So when we're done soldering everything together and we heat tube these, you will see the difference. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and, and what I like to do is go ahead and twist, lightly twist these together. Keep twisting. Right so right now I have the black one done twisted. I'm gonna go ahead and solder that together. It's probably easier just doing one at a time. The old handy dandy soldering gun. Always tint. Tint your iron. And then we're going to go ahead and, and solder that. Just that quick. A lot cleaner looking. All right, oh, get you in focus here. That's kind of hard to see. And now we're gonna go to the next one. And you gotta be careful not to melt your shrink tube when you're soldering. <laughs> that wouldn't be no good. Twist it again, solder it up. I'm trying to smooth it out like that so the heat shrink tube can go over it nice. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do the other ones. If you can see that light or not. Okay. And again, you always tint that. Heat the bottom of the wire and let the solder flow. Okay. So we got that one. And then we have one more. It's a little tedious. And the reason why I use yellow because you won't be able to see it anyways when the, the big black one's on. Alright. I'll twist it on. Okay, there we go. Now 
they're all soldered on there. Now we have to slide those tubes over the connections. See, I like to use these because you don't have to worry about the tape coming undone. So you go ahead and slide it over. I tell you what, I'm going to do all of them, slide them all over the connections. Just like that. This one can go over this one. Like that. And like that. Okay. So that's what she looks like when you just slide them over. Now I have this handy dandy thing right here. I don't know if you can read that or not. It's really nice to have. It's a pocket soldering gun. So what you do, let me get up here closer. I got it on full. And you go ahead and light it. Alright, that's staying lit. Alright, so now what you do is you take take your soldering gun or whatever heat device you have and go ahead and go over and shrink all that over. I think this shriek tube was like two to one or something like that. Okay, there's one. Yeah, I just used the heat. Shrink her on down. Go ahead and keep going. I don't know what's up with this. Alright, well that's looking pretty good right there. I'll just get the ends better. All right, there now there's. That's pretty darn good, I say. So now to hide all this mess. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide the bigger shrink tube up, right about there. All right. I'll come down a little bit. There we go. We're going to go ahead and shrink that one. And just keep turning it. I'm starting to squeeze it together. All 
<laughs> oh yeah, that's hot enough. I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off. Now, okay, we gotta do something here. All right. Okay, so there it is. This looked like nothing happened. A lot shorter. We took off all this. And that's probably what, 10 inches long right there? And we used the plug. All right. So that's done. Okay. Yeah, see if you can get a close look in there. All righty. So that goes to a side now. Okay, next step is we're going to take one of these. And what am I going to do here? This is the one going to be coming out of the receiver box. So we'll keep that one aside. We'll take another one and we have to cut it. Let's see. Yeah, we're going to cut it so. Well, let's go ahead and take these out of the package first. And again, we're not going to use the screws. Man, these are awful long, too. They give you a long leads. Which I guess is a good thing. Well, they are tiny. Tiny little fans, but they're supposed to be the most powerful ones, I guess. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go see how far apart these are going to be. Now I'm going to open the other one up. Okay, so we have these two little fans. Oh, they are tiny. <laughs> Alrighty. So I'm going to go to the truck here real quick and see the distance I should be. So it looks like right here to here would be fine. Okay, I'm going to get the take these a little longer than expected, so I'm going to cut that much off. Cut these right off. Get my wire snips. Say bye bye. What are like rubber? There. They are. There. Junk. I'm gonna go ahead and plug my soldering gun back in. Now, we need to strip these. Okay, we're going to chew up a little bit here. There we go. I should have brought my wire strippers. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh yeah, they strip a lot nicer. Yep, yeah, just strip them like that. And now we're going to take one of these spares and we are going to cut. We're going to, uh, we're going to cut probably about that much off. Well, let me take a look at it again. Yeah. 
We're going to cut that much off. And as you notice, there's a white wire here. We're not going to use it. Okay, we're not going to use it at all. So I'm just going to nip that right off. Like so. Okay. I got all this stuff on eBay. And I was happy with this product. So. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and strip these. Like that. So we got the end right here. Which is going to plug in there. and spread these wires apart like so we're going to do the same thing on this side on each one of the fans split them apart So we have, we have two fans, extension wire, which we are going to run these in parallel, which is real simple, just like we did on the castle fan. All the reds go together and all the blacks go together. So we're going to go ahead and now we need to get shrink tube. Let me get some shrink tube here, and again, it doesn't matter the colors. And we're going to go with yellow again. That's a weird color. The yellow is going to go for the uh, reds. Push that down there like that. We put that on the fan side. Looks like we have to spread the wire down a little bit because they're pre-cut. I know I could probably cut them, but since they're already pre-cut, it doesn't matter. Okay. So, we're going to look at this again. Grab another yellow. Grab another black. Slide them down on here. I twist the wires so be easier to go down and and go like that. So we're gonna go ahead and do this again. We're gonna go ahead and twist. Put this down like so. Now we need another black and twist. Oh, we gotta twist that a little bit more. Slide this down. Okay, so your two fans are going to go look like this. Okay. And then on your new plug, you're going to have one shrink tube. So we're going to do that one. Um, <laughs> We may have to put a black on here too. Yeah, we'll put a black one on there. Over top of the whole thing. So we twist that down there like that. And then we take them apart. So, so there's what the shrink tube looks like. So now, what we're going to do, is we're going to go ahead and do like we did with the other one, which is going to be a lot easier. We're going to put all the blacks together. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Twist all the blacks. That one 
ones twisted. And this one's going to be twisted. Okay, so just like that, you're going to have three wires all together twisted on there, all the blacks. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and solder that so it doesn't come apart. Make sure the shrink tube... Oh, wait a minute. How are we going to do that? I guess we don't need shrink tube on one of the fans. Yeah, because we won't be able to slide. So what we we'll do is we're going to go ahead and do this again. Perfect. Let's make sure I got this going right. Yep. So we're going to go ahead and solder, solder the wires. there and now the reds will have to be connected we're going to go ahead and twist twist these together now we're going to twist this together Alright, now we're going to go ahead and solder. And we're going to unplug the soldering iron. Alright, so now everything is soldered. As you can see, red to red, we have two of the fans. Right here. So awesome. Now we're going to go ahead and do the shrink tubes. Slide it up like that. Slide it up like that. Go ahead and light this up real quick. Well, it looks like I need a new one of these. Alright, we're going to go ahead and shrink this up real quick. And there you be. All nicely soldered. I guess this other shrink tube, you didn't really have to have it on there. I bet you we can do it though. We can bend it or something. Put it on there maybe. Let's see. I figured out. Well, that ends that. And that's how you wire up the fans. And now you have one plug. Hopefully that helps, and we'll talk to you later.